Welcome back to another edition of The Carpenter Shop. I'm glad that you joined me. We're together, we're working in the shop, walking through it and discovering some things about life and who Jesus has called us to be. There's an old gospel song with this phrase in it. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you've set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you've brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget. No, never. And then the song goes on to proclaim that he's done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. He's taken my sins away. Psalm 4511 says, because he is your Lord, we are to worship him. And we spend our time in life making a decision about what we're going to do with God. We can either worship him for his attributes, that's who he is, or for his actions, what he has done. But we have to worship because worship is our natural response back to a God to show our appreciation, our gratitude, our love, and our willingness uh, to be who he wants us to be. A child will squeal with delight and hugs when we are given a surprise. Um, we get excited about things that are unexpected and we get excited about things that are good that happen to us because we appreciate the gift that the one who's taken the time to give it to us has put into that gift itself. And yet every day of our life we have the opportunity, according to Scripture, to step into a brand new day and discover that His mercies are new each morning. That gives us something to celebrate. So the real question is, how well are you doing at this thing called celebrating? How well is celebration worship a part of your life? And I'm not just talking about that gathering with those others who are on the journey with you, the followers of God and the outpost of the kingdom of God where you worship, but even in your personal worship, how are you doing with that? Because worship helps define who you are and how your day is going to be. In a recent sermon series, I taught about the fact that we have to learn to do things and you, just, you can do it for one day and then you do it the next day. Before too long, you're stringing together day after day and it becomes a habit. Personal worship has to become a habit in your life. Because if it's not there, here's what I know about you. You're not as thankful as you should be. You're not, your heart doesn't have an attitude of gratitude toward God like it needs to have. And you're robbing yourself of the joy of knowing who God is at a deeper level. Hey, I want you to be deep. I want to be deep. And to do that, we have to spend our time thanking God for who He is and what He's done. And we have to worship. So spend some time today worshiping Him. I look forward to joining you for another walk next time in the Carpenter Shop.